the time. Okay, let's uh, talk about a cocktail of uh, economic data out of South Africa, which are currently grabbing the headlines. And the latest first quarter 2021 GDP figures is at the top of that pile. Today, the country's business confidence index came in roaring for the month of May, showed that earlier, 97. All this come as the World Bank's new global growth forecast gave a sour outlook on emerging market and developing economies for 2021. No thanks to the virus pandemic. Now, let's chat to Chris Hart, executive chairman at Impact Africa Investment in Johannesburg tonight for his boots on the ground perspectives. Thank you for coming through this evening, Chris. My pleasure. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. It's good to have you on the show again. Give us a sense of how the latest GDP report for first quarter stacked up, in particular, the key mining sectors, mining, manufacturing and financial services. Well, I think clearly mining was quite a big winner in this uh, this number. Mining has actually enjoyed quite a nice tailwind, especially for South African miners, the platinum miners in particular, struggling by this time last year with the platinum price now <coughs> rebounding uh, and, and other commodity prices like iron ore, for instance, also rebounding very nicely. Um, and so what we're seeing is a... a a really uh, a broad-based thing. The, the formal sector, in other words, where the, the, the larger corporates um, are, are playing uh, in, in the economy, seems to have actually uh, carried through the virus quite a, or the pandemic uh, measures quite a bit better than the smaller businesses. It seems like the, the smaller businesses and micro-businesses are the areas that really were hit the hardest and where the actual job losses where we're mainly in the lower end jobs, as um, I think a lot of companies shed jobs with the aim of automation. And that automation reduces viral risk in the workplace, but of course it sheds jobs at the same time. But it sheds jobs uh, where the, the skill level is lower and retains jobs where the skill level is higher. And, and so it, it really exacerbates uh, inequality. And I think that's the one uh, big legacy of the uh, pandemic is going to actually reflect that it's really the poorest um, members of all communities, whether in developed or, or um, emerging markets or, or, or otherwise, that really were hit hardest by this uh, pandemic. Um, the, the, the economy is rebounding quite nicely, but it's still weaker than what... Um, it's expected you can still see from a, from the forecasts that um, the actual analysis of the economy is, is still struggling uh, because the, um, the the forecasts really were uh, you could say a little bit all over the show. Yes, uh, Chris, what I'm looking at is your analyzed 4.6 uh, percent GDP growth. Uh, is that a pointer that South Africa is turning the corner? albeit the cloud of the virus pandemic. Look at your real GDP, 1.1, yes. uh, 4.6%. Uh, are, we, are you turning the corner? Are we getting out of those very fast, furious, hard lockdown of 2020 into early 2021? Yeah, <coughs> remember last year we saw the, the quarter quarter annualized growth Point, there was a 50 percent, um, uh, a negative 50 percent uh, number that was recorded. Now we're seeing the reverse again. The quarter and quarter annualized is probably the, the most difficult one to analyze when you get such um, <clears throat> volatility in the numbers. Um, the significantly rebounding, and it's uh, I think well beyond the, the worst. It's um, it, it's on a recovery path, but it's not on a a, a, a recovery path that's. Uh, I would have expected that in a, a good uh, economy we would already be uh, trying almost achieving the output levels that we'd already, you know, that we'd achieved last year. But we haven't got there yet. The economy is still smaller now than it was uh, at the, um, at the this time last year. <clears throat> which which is not um, uh, again we need quite a few quarters of 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 um, of positive growth the unemployment number for instance is still rising it was it rose by a small amount 
but it's still at the highest level since okay. this series uh, began. Chris. Uh, Chris, you, you know, but, but here is your business confidence index, which came in today at a very strong 97 reading against 94.7 in the month of April. What does this play into your outlook for second quarter GDP? Most definitely it helps. Uh, we, the, the momentum is on the upside for this economy, and I think we're going to see that over the next uh, several quarters. It's not going to just... Uh, fizzle out after the second quarter. Um, it, I, th I think we're going to see it continue to grow through this year um, and, and into next year. A lot of it is just rebounding off the base and then there is some new growth that's starting to come through. Um, the, 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 the real tailwind is in fact the commodity cycle has really picked up very nicely. Retailing in South Africa is still struggling. Retailing in March, for instance, was a negative number compared to March last year after what one would have said is what they call is a little bit of a green shoot in February, withered and died in, in, in March in terms of retail numbers. Um, but as I say, that's the, that number we still have to see in the next uh, few months to see how that will, will pan out in the, 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 the second quarter. So what's happening is at the base of the economy in things like mining, uh, manufacturing and um, and agriculture, we're seeing um, a resurgence there, which I think is a very good thing. It's a very good place for the resurgence to occur. Um, we're still not seeing final demand in the economy uh, picking up strongly, and that's really as a function of rising unemployment, which has mm. um, which has hit the economy very very hard. Well, nice to put. Uh, uh, thank you so much, uh, Chris Hart. And uh, do have a restful night thank in you. Johannesburg. See you next time, Executive Chairman at uh, Impact Africa Investment.